Hey guys, welcome to my grocery haul video for this week. I was way under budget this week, which I absolutely love. I was at $168, which is really under budget for me. I like to be around $200 per week for my family of four for everything we're gonna have. So I really went through the pantry and really did some meal planning this week to make sure we were under budget. So I will share with you the meal plan that I have written down. I have everything right here. I'll share with you all the groceries that we're having for the week. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click subscribe. If you need some grocery shopping motivation and some meal planning motivation, I've got you covered. So make sure you subscribe. Let me show you everything I got from Walmart for this week. Okay, here are all of the groceries. I even got some treats that I'll show you in a second as well. But here's everything that I got. I will show you all the groceries and then I'll show you the meal plan also. So starting over here, two things of almond milk. This is what my husband uses for his protein shakes. I got regular milk for um, the kids and for a cereal and whatnot. We have our chicken for the week. I got two packs of chicken last week, so we have a little bit left over. So just one pack this week. I got a big thing of ground turkey. This is three pounds. I pre-make our turkey meat or our taco meat. We do ground turkey uh, with taco seasoning. I pre-make it and then I freeze it in containers so that it's super easy to have tacos when we have them. I just have to microwave the meat and then we're ready to go, which makes it really convenient on our busy nights when we have practices and stuff. So three pounds of ground turkey, some lettuce. We're going to do some salads. Um, two things of this Too Good yogurt. It is uh, really good. Two grams of sugar per serving. This is the vanilla flavor. And then I like this plain non-fat yogurt as well. So one of those some frozen edamame. I have been really loving edamame lately. I got some broccoli here. Zucchini has been my favorite vegetable lately, um, but we do a lot of both broccoli and zucchini. I got two different kinds of cucumbers. I really want my kids to start eating cucumbers. My nephew eats them like they're going out of style, so I'm hoping that my boys will start eating them. So two different kinds of cucumber. Some salami that I put in the kids' lunches for school. So I got two bags of grapes. These grapes have been absolutely delicious and we go through them so fast. So I'm going to put one bag in our back refrigerator and hopefully that'll make them last an extra day or two if nobody can find them for a day. So uh, two bags of grapes, some croutons for Caesar salad night, blueberries, lots of bananas. We go through a lot of fruit. So lots of bananas, got lots and lots of apples over here. I've been getting the pink lady apple. Um, they are just so yummy. Avocados, we go through a lot of avocados. Um, this is the sausage that my kids like with their breakfast. It's the Vermont maple. It's already ready to go. You just have to microwave it. So super easy. My kids have been having eggs and sausage and avocado for breakfast in the morning. And we call it breakfast of champions. So it's definitely better than they're just cereal and milk. So um, this is the kind of sausage that they use for that. Uh, we needed a thing of ketchup and uh, sugar-free syrup for the pantry because I like to always have a backup of everything. Uh, some popcorn. We do a lot of popcorn. Um, snacks for snacks. Bread for my kids' sandwiches for school. I got these dehydrated marshmallows. I'm going to be doing a caramel apple a uh, board treat. I will show it. I will of course make a video for you and share it with you. But I got these little mini marshmallows for that. And then um, I needed some evaporated milk and I haven't gotten this fat free version before but so I wanted to get the fat free version this time. I needed some oil for I do lots and lots. If you guys have been around my channel lots and lots of cake mix cookies and so I've been going through the oil. I got two boxes of cake mix here. It is going to be Zachary's birthday in a few days. And so I'm going to make two different kinds of cupcakes for his party. And I got these fun, they're kind of Halloween sprinkles. There's lots of different kinds. This was only $2.92 for all these different versions of sprinkles. So I am going to add that to his cupcakes, but also for school for Zachary's birthday, I'm going to make with pineapple jello and orange jello. I'm going to do a candy corn type jello dessert. And then I'm going to put this whipped 
topping on top and then some sprinkles. So wanted to do something a little bit healthier for the kids at school because I just feel like they get a lot of sugar and um, I want to kind of limit that as much as possible. I know not completely, but de I did get sugar-free jello. So um, some green tea that I like to have in the mornings. This lavish bread, it is really good. I use it for wraps for lunch, absolutely delicious. I like to do like a little chicken Caesar wrap in there, or you can put all kinds of different things. I do turkey and cheese also with a little bit of lettuce. Super good, these little wraps, and they're really healthy. They're low fat, high in fiber, super good for you. Um, I got this big thing of Gatorade. It's for the birthday party that we're gonna have for Zachary. Um, so this is the Gatorade Zero. And then I got these candy corns. They're going to be for another treat. So I definitely have quite a few treats going on this week and all of the groceries and all of everything that we're having. Here's my meal planning book and I have written down all of the meals that we're going to have that I'm going to make. So for dinner, planning out all of our dinners for the week, like I do every week. So Monday, we're going to do chicken Caesar salad. Tuesday, we have soccer practice, so we always do super quick dinners. Um, so we're gonna do tacos. Wednesday, sheet pan chicken and veggies. Thursday, um, it's a beef and potato uh, dish. I have leftover potatoes from last week. I'm gonna do a Santa Fe chicken casserole. And then we have Zachary's birthday party. We're gonna do a pizza party. And then I'm gonna make the cupcakes that I showed. And then on Sunday, we're gonna do another dinner with family. So. I'm gonna do a cinnamon apple angel food cake. I got the ingredients last week. And then I'm also going to be doing this week a crock pot queso dip. So stay tuned for that video. It will be super yummy. So that is our meals for the week and all of our groceries for the week as well. Under budget this week, which I love, and we are set for the week. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have any questions at all. I'll see you all in my next video.